To install Manim on Mac, I'll first open up my browser and look for Install Manim. I'll be following the official guide from the Manim community website. This guide may change in the future, because it has in the past, but nevertheless, I'll click Install Manim locally on the left, then copy the first command, hide my browser, open the terminal, and paste the command in. After some time here, it says that everything's installed. It also says either restart your shell or run these commands to finish. So I'll restart my terminal and everything should be good to go. Next, I'll go back into the Manim installation guide and the first step is installing Python. I'll copy this command and paste it in my terminal. For me it says that Python is already installed, but for you it may be different. I'll go back into the guide and step 2 is installing Latex, which will let you animate different formulas and equations if you want. This step is optional, so I'll come back to it at the end of the tutorial. Finally, we have step 3 and that's installing Manim. For that we'll need these three commands, so I'll copy them and paste everything into the terminal. This one will take a little while, but for me it's showing not what it's supposed to show. It should show a bunch of green pluses like this if the Manim installation was successful. If that's what you see, you're good to go and you can skip ahead in the video. But for me, it says that there's an error. PKG config was not found. So that means that I'll need to install PKG config as well. To install it, I'm going to use Homebrew. It's essentially a large installer that lets you install a bunch of stuff through the terminal. I'll look for Homebrew Mac and after clicking on the first link, I'll be able to copy this long command that I'll need in order to install it. Then I'll open up another terminal and paste it in. Here it's asking me to type in my password, so I'll do that and click enter. Then it says press enter to continue, so that's what I'll do. After something like 10 minutes, it says next steps are to run these commands in the terminal. So I'll copy these three commands, paste them in, and I should have homebrew successfully installed. Next I'll use homebrew to install what I need. The command for that is brew install pkg-config. Once it's done installing, I'll say clear to clear out the text and then back inside the Manim installation tutorial, I'll recopy these three commands and paste them into my terminal again. And after clicking enter, it gives me another error. What the hell? This time it says error, dependency Cairo is not found, which means that I also need that as well. So I'll close this terminal and open up another one and once again use homebrew to install Cairo. I'll say brew install Cairo. It's going to do its magic and after it's done, I'll type in clear to clear out the text. Once again, back in the Manim installation tutorial, I'll copy these three lines and paste them in. And boom, I can finally see the green pluses and no errors. To check whether Manim is installed correctly, I'll go to the tutorial again, copy this command and paste it into the terminal. Make sure it says Manimations here when you paste this in. If it doesn't, then paste those three previous commands in the terminal again. This time it will think for a while and then it will spit out the this. It says that it checked whether our Manim installation is healthy and underneath I can see that the first two lines say passed. That's good. It's what we want. The third line says failed and that's because we didn't install Latex yet, the optional second step in the Manim installation tutorial. So now if I open up Finder and go into my user folder or the home folder, I should be able to see a new folder there called Manimations. Once again, it's inside Users, your username and Manimations. If you don't see this path bar here, you can go up to view and choose show path bar. You'll then be able to see where you are inside of your folder structure. So inside of this folder I'll find four new files. The hello.py file is a python file where I'll be able to write code and create Manim animations. Also in the future if you don't put your python files inside the Manimations folder your code editor like VS Code will not understand Manim's code. So every new python file where you want to write Manim animations must live inside the Manimations folder. But now the problem is that I have no good way of opening the Python file. For that, I'll need to install a code editor. So I'll open up my browser and look for Visual Studio Code. I'll go into the Downloads page and under Mac, click Download. Once the installer downloads, I'll go into my Downloads location and double click on the zip file to extract it. Once it's done, I can delete the zip file. Then I'll click Go and choose Applications, which will open up my Applications folder. This is where I want to move Visual Studio Code to install it onto my Mac. Once it's inside, I'll be able to find it next to all of my other apps. So I'll use Spotlight Search to open it, then click Open, and we're in. But there are a couple things that we need to configure before we can start creating animations with Manim. I'll close out all of the tabs, and on the left, I'll click this button, which will take me to Extensions. I'll search for Python and click Install. Once it's done, I'll search for PyLands, and it seems like it's been installed automatically. Just double checking. The final one I'll need is called Manim Sideview. It will let me preview the animation 
animations I create inside of Visual Studio Code without having to open each animation file individually. Then I'll go into the Manimations folder and open up the hello.py file. Here's where I can start writing Manim code. First, I'll select and delete everything here, and then I'll say from Manim import snowflake or asterisk. This will tell VS Code that I want to use Manim for this project. Alternatively, I can say import Manim. But now you'll notice that VS Code is underlining Manim because it doesn't understand what it is. That's another problem that you may run into. To fix this, I'll go into the search bar at the top and write the more symbol, the bendy arrow symbol, and then select interpreter. I'll click on Python select interpreter, and here I want to enter the interpreter's path. You should only have to do this once by Way. To find this path, I'll go back into my finder, then at the bottom, right click on the Manimations folder and choose Copy as Path Name. Once again, if you don't see this bar at the bottom, go into View and choose Show Path Bar. Back inside of VS Code, I'll paste it in and then add a slash, then type dot .vnv, that's V-E-N-V, another slash, bin, another slash, and Python 3 without a space. Once I click Enter, I should see Manim light up green, which means that VS Code now understands what Manim is. Next time when you reopen the Python file with VS Code, it should automatically detect it. So now I'll write some code to see if my Manim installation works. It should write the text hello on the screen. In the top right, I'll choose run Python file and then click on this icon, which is the Manim side view extension. Once I select the name of my scene, this here is the name, I can call it whatever I want, I should be able to preview my animation on the right. But nothing happens. If nothing happens, which means that your Manim side view extension isn't working properly, you can go back into the extensions, click the gear icon and choose settings for the Manim side view extension. Here you'll want to change the default Manim path. I'll delete Manim, then go back into Finder inside the Manimations folder, and once again right click on the Manimations folder here and copy as path name. I'll paste it back in there and say slash dot vnv, that's v-e-n-v, another slash, bin, another slash, and Manim. I'll close the settings tab and hide the extensions, and once I click on the Manim side view icon and select the name of my scene, I'll be able to see the animation I just made. This is just a preview, and my actual animation file lives next to the Python file where I wrote the animation. So inside of the Manimations folder, I'll see that a few new folders spawned in. And deep inside media, I'll be able to find my actual animation file. Okay, that took some work, but we're almost done. There was one optional thing that I skipped, and that's installing Latex. Since I already installed Homebrew on my Mac, I'll use it to install Latex as well. I'll look for Homebrew install MacTex to find the command that I need. And inside the page, here's the command. So I'll open up the terminal, paste it in, and this will take a while. It took around 15 minutes for me. If for some reason it says download failed, click the up arrow on your keyboard, which will paste in the last used command, and click enter. This should resume the download process. After a bunch of time has passed, it's asking me for my password. So I'll type it in and click enter. Finally, after even more time, it says here that the installation was successful. Beautiful. Just to double check it's working, I'll open up the hello.py file inside of the Manimations folder, for some reason it didn't open with VS Code, so I'll right click, hold Option, and choose VS Code so that it always opens with VS Code. And inside I'll remove the last letter from the word text, which means that Manim will now use LaTeX to write this text instead of the normal Manim text. And if I run the Python file, click on the Manim side view extension and select my scene, it renders out the animation. Beautiful. So if you're trying to learn Manim, you're probably thinking of where do I start, because there aren't many great resources for beginners. Which means that for most people who aren't advanced programmers, it will take hundreds of hours of trial and error and stitching together of scattered resources to just learn the basics. That's why most people give up before they even start. I don't want that to happen to you. I believe that learning a new skill is a lot easier when it's fun. So I put together a fun and project-based course that's aimed at complete beginners trying to learn Manim. In fact, you don't even need to know what Python is to take this course. Hundreds of students have already gone through it, created their first Manim animations and left overwhelmingly positive reviews. Now they use Manim animations to stand out on YouTube and create fantastic looking educational resources. If that sounds interesting, I left a link in the description where you can sign up now and start creating your first Manim animations. I'll see you there.